Michelle works on many of her life-size murals right in her studio. She paints the mural on a water-resistant polyester fabric. And after it is finished, she transports it outside, where it is retouched and repainted to adhere it to the wall. So Michelle, we're here in your studio with this enormous painting that's a work in progress. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about it, where it's going? This portrait of a young boy who's uh, of Mexican descent and both of his parents are immigrants from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And uh, what he represents is basically being first generation. He's, he is a child of immigrants. Like you? Like myself. Right. Um, but he's also, um, in, in a way, the hope of the family. So the hands are actually his parents' hands. So this is his father's hand. And his mother's? And his, mother hand, his mother's hands. For them, the reason why they're here and they made the sacrifice to come here was for their son. Right. And so, and, and in a way, it, it unites them. So this mural is going to be traveling, folded up, and travel, traveling with me in June, and will be installed in his grandparents' Uh, one of his grandparents' walls, which is a public wall along in the community. Yeah, goosebumps. <laughs> Not even kidding you, goosebumps. It's going to be such a wonderful addition, and it's certainly just, you know, it continues along your, your ability to bring communities together. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Michelle explains that to make a large-scale mural, it all starts with conceiving an image. Here, she works from a photograph, which is then altered using a software program like Photoshop. By this, exaggerated highlights and shadows are added to the image. Next, Michelle maps this image on a graph paper, where every inch of the image fits into a little square. Every square is assigned its own color and shade, depending on the overall image. This way, a huge image is broken down and painted in degrees. Well, actually, um, when you're doing large-scale work, there needs to be a plan. And right. so what I, what I basically do in order to make the process easier, um, I either create a drawing or take a photograph, and then it's then um, drawn and projected onto the actual uh, Piece. polyester fiber. Okay. That this is this is what that is. And so each one of these sections is a mapping of color and value that allows me to stay within the spaces that I need to stay in and also make sure that the hand is to the dimensions of the actual what the design needs to be. After that, Michelle gave me a little lesson, making me a part of her fascinating mural project. All right, so, so let's... this section right here is what we're going to be working on, okay? Yes. And just stay within the lines. <laughs> All right, we just finished the index finger. What do you think, Michelle? How did I do? I think you did a great job. You think? You stayed within the lines. I did. You blended the edges. I can do paint by number. Yes. <laughs> Michelle invited me to visit one of her murals in South Philadelphia. This one is Michelle's tribute to jazz history and her way of reconnecting to this rich local tradition. So we're here at 12th and Fitzwater at one of your amazing murals. Now what is this called and tell me a little bit about the inspiration. Uh, this mural is called Reflecting Rhythms. <laughs> Yeah, I was commissioned to do this mural and right. uh, the theme was already presented to me. And so what it was is trying to capture the history of uh, African-Americans, musicians from Philadelphia mm -hmm. and presenting them 
as them being part of the, the history or important in the history of jazz history. Absolutely. And <laughs> Philadelphia history. history at the same time. History, history, history. What we have here is actually um, an image of a young boy presents uh, the future generation of a musician or uh, and so and all of these influences that are kind of engulfing him. Almost like space. Brian in the mural that we yes. were looking at in your studio. It is so beautiful and I can't thank you enough for sharing your thank work. Thank you. With, with not only us, but with Philadelphia and the world. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle Ortiz is one powerful storyteller. Her murals are stories of freedom and empowerment. For some, her murals are almost a mirror which reflects back to them their own history and traditions. In neighborhoods and communities plagued by poverty and gloom, Michelle's murals are a ray of light, bringing much needed color, joy, and hope.